Hello, in this video, I would like to show you how to upgrade this 5.7 inch touchscreen which is made by Siem Siemens from one CGFL to a UB35 series LED kit. This LED kit comes once LED strips, one driver, and one 16 pigtail wire harness. So already disable, enable, all you need to do is just connect red to 12 or 24 volt to black to ground or negative. Let's set aside LED kit, take a look at this. It's really nice cement panel it's made by Siemens. It's a very small one. Uh, the part number is 6AV6545-0BC15-28X0, which is 5.7 inch. Okay, so uh, first we need to remove these four screws for the back covers. Okay, the last screw out, the four screws. So you take out the covers. Okay, I can see backlight lamp. This is connect to the screens. Uh, first, we need to remove this. Also, the touch screen too. We had to remove all these cables. So, one, two. This one, if you simply just pull it out, just be careful. This touch screen. This is touch screen uh, uh, ribbon cable. Just slowly pull it out. Here we go. Okay. And this one, you can use this tool, just yank it out. Here we go. So after that, uh, pretty much you see all this plastics, clips. I had to hate that this one. Yeah, we also need to take out this one too. I'm not sure if we have to or not. But. So I just remember the last school. So I want you to look at this. There's four plastic clips. One, two, three, four. So the hand will be on this hand to push up. When you push up, you push this. See that? One out. One out. Oops. Okay. There we go. Okay. Okay. That's a little bit. I need to hold it. Oh, here we go. This one come out. So after this one come out, it's easier. Then I'm gonna try to move this. What first? Okay. Okay. Here you go. Because there's two plastics here. The clicks. I don't want to damage it, so that's what I do. All right. We remove it. This is the screen. So the screen was doing the same thing holding by this one. I just showed it to you about a minute ago. So all I need to do is just push the plastic back. Try to get the, the screen out. So basically you have to do this side first. I already finished. Let me let me I take it out and show it to you. Because this side for some reason is very sticky. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, so look at this one. So sticky, no wonder. So, you see this click? Four clicks. That's just pop right in to hand this latch. So I'm going to clean it a little bit. Then I can, next thing on this, first clean it and then I can move the LCD screens. So I clean the best a little bit, clean the front a little bit. Also, I wash it. This is sponge. So I got to let it dry. It's all oily, oily. So let's take a look at how we can take out. So first thing, and then we had to take out this cover. I mean, the shield is really simple because there's both clips on each side, two clips. So I just use your flat head. I'm using any, any tools that works. There we go. Okay. Just one, two. Stick in, do well. Okay, we take it out. Now we need to re remove the screen. Screen's quite easy. They they don't use that many screws on this particular shipment controller. They always use this plastic clips to, you know, to secure the screen. So you just push back and put took the screen out.
Here we go. This is touch glass. Set it aside, the screen. So in order to install an LED strip, I, I think we should remove the metal frame first. And then metal frames, these two screws will remove and then we have to bend all these clips. Okay, so one at a time. So I just remove two screws straight out all these clips. You see this? So I think let me try to remove it, the back cover. Oops. I hope I can remove it. Look like it's coming out. Okay. Here we go, successful. The lamp is mounted here, obviously. So we're gonna mount it back to the same location, just like this. Okay, so let's take the lamp out. Yep, we're gonna mount it back to the same locations. Let me see. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Let's move this side. Remove the covers. Okay. So you want to mount it in between the proxy glass. If you mount too much this, this can because this corner become much darker spot. So make sure that uh, you mount it. Alright. So I just stick to the plastic, yeah. Alright, make sure the wire comes out this way. Okay, so we are ready to put back the this oh this one this I, I can do like this, otherwise it's gonna give me some troubles maybe hopefully. So for this one, you see this because the ran the lamp was wrong one, but this is square, so I need to remove this plastic a little bit by using the knife. Just use this, cut it off. Okay. So I use a blade to make it flat on this side. So let's see, we try to put everything back together. This is, this screen is too old. Some of the plastic is really easy to broke. So you just have to be careful, really careful. I'm gonna put back this thing. Let me take this one out, yeah. That way I can make sure it, oh, okay. Make sure it's six exactly. Yeah, this is good. So I want to really want to show it to you. Because if the, the glass not see inside of the plastic, then you push it, snap it back, it's gonna crack the screen, so it's be really careful. So it's good. Everything looks good. Yep, yep. Okay, I would like to put two screws back for us to secure the plastic frame on the backs. So, um, okay, two. Ooh, be careful. Now, okay, I'm gonna push all this band back and put it back screen. I just finished the upgrade, the, I mean, I put this all this clip back and then two screws here and then I clean a little bit screen, make sure there's no fingerprint left and then add a piece of tape. So now we are go, ready to go back to put back to this touch screen. Remember touch screen? I cleaned it already. So let's say, okay, touch screen. Okay. I think it's supposed to, yeah, like this, because the wire, the touch wire should be on this side. Oops, sorry. Before we do that, we need to put this two cable back that I disconnected, because after you put it back, this plastic thing is really difficult to push in. So 
connect this to Okay, it's back. Let's see. This wire is along on, on, on the side with this touch screens. Oh, uh, yes, we put it back. Oops, too much. We put it a little bit here. Yeah, there we go, because this is It's pretty much done deal, and then we're gonna put back this one. Before we put it back, I'm gonna try to find screen. We're gonna put back this cover. And it should be like this. This one you just has to push in. You see this? Yeah. This thing just pushes back. That's it. So if you want to, you can clean a little bit here, but uh, that's okay. Now, we're gonna put back the before I put it back, I need to, because this is really bad, so I'm going to add a little piece. If you, let me try to lay out to you. This is, even though I wash it, it's old. I need to cut it a little bit, make it fit. See that? Oh, well, maybe it fits. Okay. It's good. Okay. So, now we're going to push it right back. Let me see here how we can do this. Before I do this, I need to put this one back here. See that? This click. Okay. This is how I. Yep. Maybe I could mount here. Or mount here. Because this is the board. See, this HMI doesn't matter what size is it. They don't have 12 volts. They only have 24 volts. We might just directly get it from here. See this 24 volt. So what I would like to do is that I'm going to sound out this end, directly 24 volt, and then find a way to mount it. So I just sound out this cable directly to a 24 volt surprise. Pass this negative. And I think I'm gonna mount the inverter here. I think there's enough space to mount it on this side. Okay, let's see. Let's connect this one to it. And then we connect this wire to this end. I'm gonna clean this area a little bit, especially because this one's a little bit higher, so I'm gonna stick on this side, see what happens. Because there's not, nothing underneath that. Let me see here. Oh, let, me, let me stick to it. Okay. Looks good. So I just want to put it like this. Looks good. See? Perfect. So I'm going to put all this school back. Well, we're gonna put this connector back, and uh, I'm gonna put the touchscreen cable back, which is uh, right here. Yeah, and then put a screw back. Okay, I put all this screw back, put the back cover back, and let's take a look. Okay, this is uh, wait, this end blue is 24 volt. That's Guang, so blue yellow 24 volt. And the other one is Guan. Ooh, nice and bright. See this? It's still putting this black and white monochrome. So it's putting. It takes maybe for a while to uh, load the BIOS. And I just want to test the touch screen. See, touch screen works on that, but. Uh, Hey, it's coming. It's working. Yeah, it's still loading the programs. Here we go. Okay. Thanks for watching.